Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Okay guys, today hello guys. Um sorry, I said that twice now. Hello guys, today we are going to obviously buy you've read by the thumbnail and buy what's playing right now. NBA 2K16! Yay, yay, yay! Can I get a whoop whoop? Oh, what was that? <laughs> okay, sorry guys, really loud. Okay, yeah, so guys, thank you so much for watching my previous videos and I hope you guys enjoyed Skyrim. I personally enjoyed this game. This is another review, by the way. I personally enjoyed this game. Um, I thought it was really good. Obviously, I'm going with my reviews, I'm going to start doing an intro at the start and then leaving you guys just to watch it. If you guys want different lanes for me to commentate the whole way through, just tell me. Just leave a comment down below and say and I'll do some videos like that. Please like and subscribe guys. I love you guys so much. Not that way. That's a bit awkward. But anyway guys. <laughs> um, guys, thank you so much. I quite enjoyed this game. I thought it was a, one, uh, a pretty good game. Good uh, good um, quality. Good uh, like pictures. Good effects and everything. Uh, I probably, I personally got thrashed, I got thrashed, but it was my first time, so, guys, I, I'll try and get better, but guys, if you want more videos of 2K16, just say, and I'll make some more. Thanks, guys, and I'll leave you guys here. I love you guys so much. Bye. Bye-bye. going up against the Chicago Bulls. And now time for the call by Kevin Harlan, as we get ready for the opening tip in Chicago. And moments ago, the national anthem and the mental preparation for the game ahead. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another exciting broadcast of the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see Cleveland and the Chicago Bulls. Now a chance to check out tonight's starting lineups. And guys, taking a look at Kyrie Irving. What do you think we'll see from him today? And his body control is something else I like about him. I'm not sure how he does it. But the way he's able to hang in the air and change his shot to get it around the defender is purely amazing. Now, here is Irving. Yo, 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 yo. Love with the screen on Mason. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Mozgov down low, guarded by Green. Here's Jordan. And Macy kicks to Oakland. Gervin dishes to Oakland. Back to Gervin. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. LeBron with it. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Kev, I caught up with Coach David Black. I asked him where he thought they have an advantage in this game, and he said our shot blocking is one thing that really sets us apart. Now, we have to be solid all around, but that does help us quite a bit when it comes to sending away penetration and shot attempts inside. Kevin, never something you want to rely on, but always a great backup to have. Thank you very much, Doris. So it's mainly about defense for them early on. Yeah, and it won't just be early. I mean, it'll be about D all game long. Yeah, and he made that point very clearly and emphatically to Doris and his players. I think we're going to see an intense defensive performance today. Clark, their offense has been great here. Yeah, I love the way they've looked really strong and together. Yeah, the ball movement has been terrific, and they've kept the defense off balance. Way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And you know the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. Cleveland shooting their first free throws here tonight. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Yeah, real nice shot selection there. I, I guess he's working on his buzzer beater form. That's a reach, but perhaps that is the case. Or maybe, oh, yeah, maybe yeah. he was trying to knock a bird off of the scoreboard. He's <laughs> 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 about right, because I still can't figure that one out. No, no, I see no birds up there. No. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. And you know what? They just are in a funk right now offensively. A good time to maybe come and come up with a play to get them a good look. Well, most coaches, you know, usually have a, a go-to speech or tactic that they can um, use when they need it most. So we'll see if that's the case here. 
When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. Macy against Irving. Back to Mozgov. Here's Shumpert. A three-pointer, no good. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Green, Mozgov covering. Green, no luck. You know, that mid-range jump shot is not his strong suit, even when he gets a good look like that. Irving kicks to LeBron. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got his third assist on the night. You know, something that's floating around in the sports world and in the NBA is reseeding after the playoffs start. And for those of you who may not understand the situation, it's simply saying that no matter what, he would play the lower-seeded team, however you get to those numbers. Now here's LeBron, Irving, good luck. Again, the Cavaliers score. How about the start that they've gotten off to here? Huge lead, and we're still in the first quarter. And guys, it hasn't just been the scoring. I mean, they're playing tremendous defense, too. Bulls trail by 16. And with that whole concept of playoff reseeding, so often we'll see a second or third seed team get a sixth or seventh seed team in the second round. Meanwhile, Greg, the top seed plays the fourth seed no matter what. You know, I, I think in a few cases it, it would have made a major difference in how the playoffs would have played out. And quite frankly, I think it also puts more value on the regular season if that number one seed could play a seventh seed, if you will, in the second round. So I think that's something that the commissioner and the competition committee might want to reassess. Here's LeBron. George Gervin picking up that last basket. That drops. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up a little more sense of urgency. Yeah, they've got to do a little more to disrupt their offensive rhythm, too. Now, here is Irving. And he gets it to go. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Time dropping delights is what I call it. Yeah, it's a nice pass. I will give you that one. Yeah, he's on the money, that's no doubt. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Bulls trail by 18. Oakley passes to Green. Osgov with the steal. Now it's Shepard running. He can go all the way. Hammers it home to polish off the break. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Cleveland. They've come out in attack mode on the defensive end. They've applied pressure and forcing turnovers. Something else they've done right so far from the get-go tonight is, is run. I mean, so much of their offense has come off the fast break. And Masics to Gervin for three. And again, no good by Chicago. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. And the dunk by Love. There's no doubt they've come into this game with a really aggressive approach, just pounding the ball inside. It certainly is working. They're finding the open lanes to the hoop and owning this game early. Macy passes to Oakley. Kicks to Green. To halt the run. And the shot is long. The Cavaliers leading by 22. From 15 feet away... Here's Shumpert, and he finishes nicely on the layup. Shumpert's got eight. It's taken them no time to build this lead up. Great first quarter offensively. But no time to relax here. They've got to keep the pressure on with the defense, and I think they've got to try to put this one away early. And again, Chicago, no good. And so it's Cleveland with it. And finished off by LeBron. With that reverse jam, the fans got a little extra show there. That one definitely had something, you're right, extra on it. Man, I, I got to pick my jaw up off the floor after that one, guys. Kevin, not a single point in this quarter for him. Obviously, not what they need right now. He's got to score. That's what they're hanging their hat on today, fellas. Hard nose, smash mouth play down on the low block. Old-fashioned, isn't it, my man? Old-fashioned. Pound the rock basketball, and it is definitely working for them. Now, here's Green. Hey, right here! Now the feed to Gervin. Shot clock at six. Ball's knocked loose, and there's the pass to Jordan. From about 19 feet, and it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Cleveland controlling the game. 
Smith dishes to Williams. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Williams has got his first two points of the night. And as they continue to just dominate this game, you have to wonder how much can they win by? Well, it's on the verge of getting out of hand, Greg. You can feel it. You can see it. In part because the defense has been about as good as the offense, and both have been really good. And the buzzer sounds to end the first, and we've got a blowout underway here. Well, not exactly a close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, plenty of time for a comeback. And looking at what we've seen, Cavaliers pretty much in control here, it would appear. And it's really about limiting their mistakes. And, and early on, they've been able to do that here in the first. And guys, I like what I've seen from them on the other end, forcing a few giveaways. And that's allowed them to widen that turnover margin. They've got Corzine. John Paxson is out there with Gervin. Then it's Higgins. And it's Jordan in at the small forward. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Shooting for Cleveland. And that one falls for Williams. Paxson with the ball. Jordan kicks it over to Corzine. That's short off the rim. Yeah, good tough D there to get a hand up and force that miss. That's example number one of why he is such a strong defensive player and why he has such a great defensive reputation. Out of bounds, Cleveland takes possession. 21 seconds on the shot clock. Cleveland controlling the game. Williams kicks to Jefferson. And it's slammed in by Farajah. Nice job clearing some space out under the boards and setting himself up there for the putback. And not just any old putback, Clark, but a big, big follow. You know, Kevin, you can't be pretty, though, with those second chance opportunities. I mean, just put it in the basket. Farajah setting the pick for Jefferson. Smith, Thompson, and it's rejected. Here's Chicago. Out of bounds, Cleveland takes possession. Not the kind of pass you want to be making right there. He's lucky it wasn't stolen. Matthew Delavidova has checked in for Richard Jefferson. Back to Smith. Thompson left side. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Thompson's got his first two points. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. It's Williams with the drive. That's good. Williams has got five points now this quarter. Oh, I tell you what, nice little run here they're going on. And, and getting to the 10 has been the key. They're getting point-blank looks time and time again. And again, no good by Chicago. Yeah, the offense seems completely in disarray exactly but at the other end it's one bucket after the other and this run is getting out of hand right now and they've done a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring in the paint and that's why they're on this run you get that close to the hoop and it's a lot easier to make shots he had to wait for a while all the way until now but he's finally got his first three-pointer of the game from outside the arc oh, Verizhao down low. Corzine's there. And Anderson Verizhao again. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. They've got the five-on-three advantage. He dishes it to Smith. Shot is no good. Good work defensively by Gervin. But they recover it. Here's Higgins. Out of bounds. Cleveland will take possession. Some changes for Chicago. Brown comes in for Michael Jordan. And Miller's subbed in for Gervin. Elvin over the pass to Smith. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. 
Big time finish. Emphatic. He hangs on the rim, too, just for, for good measure. Yeah, but guys, nothing wrong with a little bit of showboating every now and then. Ill-advised shot there, Clark. Yeah, exactly. That was lower than low percentage. And it's Thompson with the jam. That's a quick bucket there. Solid in transition. Well, you know, he loves the chance to get out and run, and we could see right there why he does. And here are the Cavaliers. They're on a 19-3 run. Help, help, help. Smith outside. Dishes it to Thompson. And he uses both hands to jam it in. And that kind of defense ain't going to get it done. Gee, we don't see those kinds of dunks out of him all the time, but we know he's got it in him. There's no doubt about that, fellas. I mean, the more finishes like that he gets, the more his confidence will grow. Stolen by Thompson. And now here comes Williams leading the break. And he gets it to go. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. There's a glaring discrepancy between these teams in that area of the game. And it's been the difference. That's what's enabled them to build such a big lead, no doubt about it. And they've done a great job of just keeping the pressure up on the scoreboard. And that's why they're starting to pull away. I mean, not becoming conservative at all. Just adding to the lead. I love seeing a team do that. And there's J.R. Smith on the assist from Delavidova. And that's now six points for J.R. Smith. Out of bounds. Cleveland will take possession. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Mozgov, he's checked in for Verja. Love comes in for Tristan Thompson. LeBron, he's checked in for J.R. Smith. And it's Amon Shumpert in for Matthew Delavidova. Now this is just getting ridiculous. They can't possibly keep this up. Can't remember the last time they missed one. Remarkable shooting here. Good ball movement. He put that pass in the ideal spot, right where it needed to be. Clark, they've shared the load offensively. Yeah, they've done a nice job with it, Kevin. Everybody's touching the ball. There's a nice flow to what they're doing offensively. And, guys, they put the defense on their heels. You can see right now they're trying to react, and that's what you want when you're in a rhythm offensively. As the game has gone along, they've gotten more and more aggressive on the backboard. Well, it's paid off with a greater rate of second-chance hoops. I mean, great effort to build this lead on their part. About three seconds between shot and game clock. He's jammed himself up a little bit here with that second foul. As long as he can avoid a third before the half, I think he's fine. The Cavaliers shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And as a group, they shot 75% from the line last season. Now Oakland. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Well, that's inexcusable to throw a pass that far off the mark. LeBron, LeBron, LeBron! LeBron outside. Addition out to Irving. Tries to save it. And it's out of bounds to the Cavaliers as Cleveland retains possession. 16 seconds on the shot clock. 16. 11 seconds left in the first half. Back to Love. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got five assists in the game. Out of bounds, Cleveland takes possession. I tell you what, that's just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. Puts up a prayer. Can't get it to go. And so a pretty lopsided game for the first half. Cavaliers ahead. Running away with it. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. You ain't really to get rich. And we welcome you back to the NBA here on 2K Sports. And we're ready to get going once more. And the players having a chance to have a short break and get some rest themselves and get refueled and hydrated with some Gatorade. More terrific basketball in store for us tonight. Well, Irving has simply been great. 
He has nine points and five assists. Passing and free throws, those are two areas where you love to get production. And I like the fact that he's been a positive player all day. Hasn't had a lot of errors in the game. On the court for Cleveland, the two stars, LeBron and Love, at the three and the four. Amon Shepard is out there with Kyrie Irving. And it's Mozgov in at the center, locking down the middle. Here's Chicago. Got a piece of it. And stolen by LeBron. With the lead pass. Sweet little floater. LeBron's got the first points to start out the third quarter for Cleveland. Now there's something for the top ten highlight reel right there. A layup can be just as sweet and as pretty as a dunk sometimes. Shots good by Oakley. Yeah, you're making things far too easy for him when you let him get it that deep. I echo that. Ditto. I mean, you've got to do your work early to try to keep him out of the post. Fight him a little bit. Keep him away from that spot he wants. Here's Mozgov. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Ten points for Timofey Mozgov. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Oakley misses. Still a bit chilly from the field at the start of this third quarter. One of four so far. Irving drives in. Pass to Love. Green with the block. And it's out of bounds. The Cavalier is able to retain possession here. 12 seconds on the shot clock. On its way from Irving for two. Nice shot from the wing. Irving's got 11. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket, right in the shooting pocket for a terrific assist. They've done a lot of that today. And it's something we haven't seen much of at the opposite end of the floor. One for five on offense. A slow start here in the second half. Back to love. I see Plenty of room to knock down the shot. He's got nine. Now, here's Green. And Macy kicks to Jordan. Shoots. Leaps for it. Out of bounds. Cleveland will take possession. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Jefferson's checked in. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Irving kicks to Jefferson. No, no, no. Go, Irving. There's the bucket. Good. Jefferson's got his first bucket in this one. Boy, this defense is getting eaten up on the inside, guys. Giving up far too many free runs to the rim. And they haven't been able to return the favor with their offense in the paint. Because that has not been up to par. And finished off by LeBron. And you can see the difference with their ability to win with their speed, guys. Boy, I love the pace and flow that their open court offense has been played with. I mean, it's been humming quietly, but very efficient. And he gets the bucket. And that's 13 points for Kyrie Irving. Three consecutive baskets have come right at the rim. The defense had better start buckling down and tightening up. Guys, they are getting exposed in terms of their low post defense. Now, this is just getting ridiculous. They can't possibly keep this up. Can't remember the last time they missed one. Remarkable shooting here. LeBron outside. Back to Irving. Lock at six. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And when you shoot 86 from the line like he did last season, you usually cash in on those opportunities. You know, he really did excel at the stripe. I mean, they couldn't have asked for too much more from him when it came to knocking down free throws. Come on, Shumpert's checked in for the Cavaliers. It's tipped and stolen by Love. It's three on three on the fast break. And the layup's good off the glass. 17 points for Kyrie Irving. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Cavaliers. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. They've worked hard tonight at crashing the boards as well. They've had a...